After the Timur's Empire in 1450, Persia was controlled by the Turkish lords and one especially dominant known as Ismail the Great. In 1501, the 14 year old led a Turkish army to capture Tabriz and declared himself the Shah or King. This was the beginning of the Safavid Empire. Three major contributions to the empire's success were its strength, skills, and their faith. The Quislabash, otherwise known as Redheads, were able to supply troops in battles with the promise of gaining land, occasionally even on troublesome Ottoman frontier because of their harsh rivalry. The Safavid skill included those of urban bureaucrats and made them a part of civil machinery, inventions used to help with the growth of the empire and government. Shia faith then began to dominate, becoming the empire's main religion. This meant the leader among Muslims would be one of Muhammad's ascendants. Descendants. Ismail, claiming descent from 12 different leaders, beginning with Ali, meant that he should be the main king. Ismail then promoted Shiism, the party of Ali, by doing things such as recruiting scholars good in learning and teaching their religion. He then exiled Sunni ulama, led by caliphs, so that any other faith would be shunned within his empire. The fact that the religion is still around in Iran today shows how powerful and influential Ismail was. Under Shah Abbas, who lived from 1587 to 1629, the empire reached its height, where he moved their capital from Quizvan to Isfahan in approximately 1598. Known as the Great, he supported trade and commerce as well as arts and was able to reinvent the empire's borders, defeating the Ottomans to take control of present-day Iran. Shah adopted the practice of building an army of slaves and captives from cautious um, Armenians and Georgians who would rival the Quil Quislabash, who were beginning to grow and cause a threat. Increasing gunpowder and weapons, he made alliances with Europeans who would battle the Ottomans and Portuguese. In the late 16th century, power of the Safavids depending on their military faith and trade in rugs and pottery. Cities such as Tabriz and Shiraz were great rug as well as trade centers. More based on trade and arts, expansion of the empire as well as their military strength began to decline in the early 17th century. With their main rival not threatening, they became quiet and tentative, destroyed by an Afghan group in 1726 because of their weakened military force. They controlled state policies as well as family and personal affairs, taking over the main Shah power.